going to do an unboxing and review from this beautiful CQ set in a 187 scale. Very hard to get. I was lucky to find it on a German eBay site and the seller was so friendly to send it to the Netherlands. Well, I say hard to get. It is actually still available in store, but it's a different variation. So you can get the truck, you can get the excavator, but you don't get the Convoy Exceptional follow car, which I think it's very cool. And the excavator doesn't come with a sand bucket. It comes with a wrecking ball. So yeah, still available, but without the follow car. And I definitely needed this set with the follow car. Um, let's have a look at the box first. It's always cool that CQ put some pictures on the box with a diorama and what is available. 360 degrees, yeah, comes with a follow car and most of the time they also have some pictures here on the back. That looks really cool. Um, some specs from the machines. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. Freeze the frame. And here you can see moving tracks up and down. Ah, okay, that is good to know. Ah, yes. And what's also interesting, it's a licensed product by Daimler Chrysler. That is what we like. Okay, um, 1834 Schwer Transport, that is German for heavy transport, mit Seilbacker und Begleitfahrzeug. Heavy haulage transporter with excavator and surface vehicle. And then in front, but my front is not that good, so I'm gonna skip that. Sorry, friends, people. Okay, let's open the box. Still in very good condition. It's actually the first time I uh, take it out of the box. Very well packed. Um, first I'm taking out the Convoy Exceptional. And then... Oh, how do we do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's best to take out the... Oh! Hallelujah, dude! What are you doing? Mm-hmm, okay. And then we're gonna... Oh, yeah, crack in the box. Oh, what is this? What is this? Just to push it down? What? Well, better a crack in the box than a crack in the machine, you know. There we go, there we go, there we go. There it comes. Pew. And then the only thing we have to take out is the sand bucket right here. Should not be so difficult, I was I want to say. Hallelujah. Oh, there it comes. Push from the back and it comes out. Okay, let's have a look at the truck first. So here we got the truck. I like that it has so much wheels on it. That is heavy for me. No side mirrors. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Coupler Spetsian or something. Nice man truck. Oh, Spedition. Sticky fingers on the front window because I have sticky fingers. Um, well, steering wheel is a little bit of a stump. Huh? Let's have a look inside. A little bit of a stump steering wheel. Uh, yeah, 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 they could have done a lot better. Well, the top of the stump looks pretty good to me. And here, heavy exhaust. Not sure what this is. 
looks good. This is all metal, by the way. So, no plastic. Got an extra tow bar for you never know. Uh, base. I think it's also some sort of strong plastic. And this here is also die cast metal. Oh, got even the sunroof here on the top. Uh, alarm lights. Okay, let's put it right here. Then the reason I bought this set, Convoy Exceptional Schwer Transport, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Painted Front Lights, needs a license plate. Here we have a good steering wheel. Yeah, very good steering wheel. Alarm lights on top, also lanced, sunroof, landslides, hey. Oh, we have an interior inside. Looks like an ambulance interior. <laughs> Maybe they uh, converted this ambulance to a convoy exceptional. Here we can also look in the back, why not? Yeah, I think it was an ambulance. <laughs> ah, that's kind of cool. It's a convoy exceptional slash ambulance. You never know what happens on the way to the destination. Ooh, two wheels in the back. I like that. Good rolling wheels and a metal base. Yep, pretty nice. Then we have the trailer, big trailer, three wheels in the back. Yeah. And you can take this off. I have to, yeah. That's how you do it. <coughs> Sorry. And we got spare tires also made of rubber. They're the same as the ones right here. Here we go. So that is very cool. Let's put this back on. Yep. And then it's like a puzzle, a very simple puzzle. You do it like this and then it's hooked. Then we got the excavator with moving tracks. Whoop. I'm going to keep them in this position. Uh, like it was saying on the box, Three sixty degrees is possible. Um, then we can move it up, but I think you have to do that with um, yeah. Okay, so this is for yeah. You can see. So if I'm moving this right here, the sand bucket will go up and down and this right here okay I think you have to do it like this yeah I think this I haven't been moving for a long time No, I'm not going to do this because I'm going to break it with my power. So I'm going to keep it this way. Yeah, this is made out of plastic, by the way. This is also made out of plastic. Oh, maybe I have to do it like this and then... No. It won't turn. <laughs> But for me, that's not so important. Uh, look in the operator cabin. We haven't done that, I think. Nice Lieber crane. Exhaust. Um, yeah, this is all metal right here. This is metal. Plastic, 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 plastic. Cabin is plastic, but overall it's a very good model. 
see we have to place it like this what whoa okay sand pockets oh not showing you what I'm doing yeah huh? yeah very professional okay this works with a spring so maybe you can do it like this and then it's ready for transport with the follow car behind it and you got a very nice set okay uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. And let me know if you want to see more uh, CQ sets like this one. Got a couple of more trucks in a 187 scale. Already did reviews about them, but uh, you know, it's pretty good to uh, refresh your memory. Have a nice day. Bye.